All right, y'all, I've got the truck set up. Got my fans in the window. I got the one running over there. I uh, got all my stuff back here in the cooler. And I went and grabbed that picnic table from over there. But I'm about to get myself a fire going, guys, so stay tuned. So this is what I'm using, y'all. Um, I've got a video of these ma myself making these. I can link it down below, but it's uh, egg crate, dryer lint, and old candle wax. And this is what I usually use as a fire starter. tried something different tonight if you saw the the bottle opener on the side of the cooler works great so I've got this Sam Adams Jacko pumpkin ale um, I picked up a variety pack and it's got four different beers in it but I figured I'd give this one a shot first we'll see what it says on the back here Sam Adams Jacko it's a perfect fall beer uh, Jacko cinnamon and nutmeg aromas recall memories of freshly baked pumpkin pie. It has the ideal balance of seasonal spices with a crisp, refreshing finish. This pumpkin ale pairs perfectly with the transition of summer into cooler days and nights. Tim Cook, founder and brewer. I don't know if we're quite into fall yet. Uh, it's still like 85 degrees here during the day and we've still got 90s and stuff like that, but hey, uh, it's a tasty beer. It really does have like a pumpkin flavor to it. Pumpkin spice, maybe I'm basic. <laughs> uh, but the caps are cool too, because all the caps say cheers on them. So, cheers to you guys. Uh, it's pretty tasty. So, uh, it's getting kind of late. Sun's actually already going down. I should have the camera pointed that way. Maybe I need to move that. Hopefully you guys can see the sun setting behind me a little bit and hear the cicadas. Um, but I've got some meats to grill up tonight. I don't know if I'm going to do it on this. I might run out of light. Uh, I'm going to let this burn for a little while and we'll figure out if we want to cook these on that or if I just want to break the little grill out. So, they are also calling for a chance of rain tonight. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but we'll see. So, anyways, stay tuned guys.
fire's roaring. I got the grill set up right here behind me. Uh, let's grab some food out of the cooler here. Sun's going down. I better get to cooking before I completely lose my light. And uh, I just got an ice pack in here tonight. So I picked these up from my local grocery store. They are Open Acres Farm Fresh Premium Craft Premium Craft Beer Brats Founders All Day IPA Session Ale. Uh, and these are not pre-cooked, so that's why they're gonna. So they're gonna take a little while. But we'll get this thing cranked on here. Toss a couple of these guys on quick. is probably going to be good. I've got bags to put these in. Uh, but then other than that, I picked these up. So we're going to have these to go with our brats. Dr. Pepper Baked Beans. Serious Bean Co. Sweet and a Bit Sassy Dr. Pepper Baked Beans. With its blend of 23 flavors, Dr. Pepper has long been a secret ingredient among top barbecue pit masters. The 23 original flavors give Dr. Pepper uh, this batch an amazing name and its amazing flavor. Sweet and Sassy Sauces. So, it's got a pop top, which is nice, but I guess we'll use this little, like I've, I've, I bought this a while ago and this is the uh, first time I'm going to use it, which is awesome, but it means I also have something I have to clean up later. You guys probably can't even see that because I don't need this up right now. Yeah, I mean they're going. I'm gonna dump these right in this pan. Also picked up some more fully cooked bacon. We're gonna go ahead and crumble up a couple pieces of this bacon in here and probably snack on it. <clears throat> and that fire's really hot. One for me. Four pieces of bacon. One more for me. We'll do a nice slow simmer on these too. that in there. Ranch. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. Ketchup ranch. And I got a few tater chips too. So, we've got plenty of food for tonight. It's doing good. I have to give these a good amount of time since they're not pre-cooked. 
make sure they cook all the way through. Once again, try to keep that pretty low and low and slow. All right, grill's off. I got a mess here in front of me. We're gonna eat the beans right out of here. No reason to dirty up a dish, they look tasty. Just some basic hot dog buns here, nothing fancy. I think I gave these guys plenty of time. They're pretty crispy. And they're starting to started to juice everywhere, so they should be good. So I've got this ranch. I've had this before. It's been a while. Slap some of this on here. Very hot, very done. Well, the real test is going to be these beans, which I know you guys can't barely see. Uh, but just baked beans. I put some bacon in there. See how how much of like a Dr. Pepper they taste like. Hot. You can definitely taste the Dr. Pepper in that. It doesn't taste bad, but it is kind of a sweet flavor to it. These are good. I like the Cranch. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I've had it, but figured I'd pick some up. Yeah, guys, the beans are good. I hope, I don't think you guys can see any of that, but beans with bacon. Half the reason I got chips because I like to. I'm the kind of guy that like I'll smash chips up into my baked beans, but it's also good. It's like a dip. Use baked beans as a dip. Got a big old chip full of baked beans. And batch them. Yeah, those are hot. You can definitely, definitely taste the Dr Pepper in that. I feel like it should have been diluted just a little bit more, but. I'm not the one selling Dr. Pepper baked beans in the supermarket, so what do I know? Well, the bugs are definitely starting to come out. I really need to look into one of those thermocells. Uh, I hate up, putting on bug spray. I think I've only used bug spray once or twice this entire season so far. I just don't like putting it on, especially then crawling into bed. Somebody driving through behind me. What up, homie? What you know about them baked beans? Huh? Well, the brats were great. Definitely cooked well enough. Very hot. And the beans are also great. And the bugs are biting my ankles. Dang, bugs are everywhere. All right, y'all. I'm going to quickly eat my other wiener here and uh, get this stuff cleaned up and get crawled in the back of the truck before I get eaten alive by the bugs out here. Say who? You guys need to come in here with me. All right, y'all. I've made it into the truck. Thankfully, just as the bugs were starting to really get bad out there, and I've got a few of them in here, which is always awesome. Yeah, my legs were getting chewed up out there. Uh, so yeah, it's gotten dark. The food was great. The the beans were good. They were they had a really really strong Dr Pepper taste. So I chuck I crushed up some of my chips and I put them in there, and it was a little bit better that way of the barbecue baked lays. But try another. 
different one of these Sam Adams here. So this one is Fest Beer Smooth Lager. If you guys can see that, I can't. I can't barely read it with the lighting in here. Uh, Fest Beer. The Fest and Fest Beer means the barley and hops been gathered, and our growers have their first moment to celebrate another successful harvest. What do they reach for? Fest beer, a little more than malty, a little more than hoppy, brewed to relax and enjoy. So we'll crack this open on the cooler down here. Oop. Having the built-in bottle opener is very nice. It's pretty good. Pretty good. A little different. Pretty good. Really, yeah, it's, it's like a light. Kind of like a light beer. But... We're gonna get ourselves a movie going. I downloaded, I actually rented something on Amazon. I don't remember what it was called now, but it looked fairly interesting. So we'll get this thing set up and rolling. And uh, I just looked at the weather maps. We might get a little bit of rain later. Uh, I think a lot of it's actually gonna go south of us, but I wouldn't mind a little bit of rain this evening. Oh, it's a movie that I've been wanting to watch for a while. It's not a new movie. It's called This Is The End. Uh, it's got a bunch of funny guys in it. James Franco, Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen. Uh, yeah, Danny McBride, Michael Sarah, Emma Watson. It should be pretty good. It's actually a few years old. It's from 2013, but I've never seen this. Uh, as far as I know, it's never actually been available like on Netflix or Amazon or anything for just free. It's always been a rental, but uh, the description is, a party at James Franco's new L.A. mansion turns into a battle for survival for Seth Rogen, Jonah Hill, and Danny McBride, Craig Robinson, and Jay Baruchel as supernatural powers attack. The apocalypse. It's an apocalyptic comedy. So this should be pretty, uh, pretty entertaining, let's hope. It's got four and a half stars out of like 21,000 reviews. So it should be pretty entertaining. Uh, and we're gonna give this a watch and just hang out. I guess we'll see if it rains at all tonight, but Yeah Actually Paid to rent this and it's been a while since I've rented a movie, so Anyways stay tuned guys. We'll see what this see what this storm turns out to be if it turns out to be any kind of storm at all Cheers y'all I can get rid of this hat. I don't need this hat on my head. movie's over uh, that movie was hilarious uh, so many great actors and a storyline like I I don't know it it was a little bit far out but it was a it was a very funny movie so anyways y'all I'm gonna get headed to bed here I'll see you in the morning Four degrees out. We didn't get any rain last night, but it was one of the worst nights of sleep I've had in a while. I don't know what the deal was. I couldn't fall asleep last night, and it was just kind of warm and muggy in here. I had the fans going. I don't know. Yeah, just couldn't sleep last night. But I did eventually fall asleep, and here we are. It's eight o'clock in the morning. So, well, why don't we get up and? Uh, I think it's time to get up and I'll show you guys a little bit of the park here before we leave. This is one of the my favorite spots to come camp at and if you watched like the heat, the uh, the video titled camping and truck camping in a heat advisory or something like that. A few videos back I mentioned that uh, this place had been closed down because of so much damage from a storm. Damn fly in here. Shoo fly, there's two of them. Sons of... anyways. 
Um, storm damage, yeah. So we'll drive around and I'll kind of show you some of that. Uh, I lost a lot of trees here, but yeah, guys, let's get moving. Well, it's a beautiful morning out. Uh, you can actually see quite a bit of the damage here right behind me where I'm standing. There's a skid loader over there. Check that out. Well, that's probably one of the biggest piles. We'll go up there and drive by that, but you can see just the debris on the ground everywhere. Uh, everywhere, really. And then there's still some busted trees over there, but they've got this giant pile there. Uh, and you can see they have, they've got those barricades. This place was closed for a while, but. We'll take a quick drive through here and check that out before we leave, but get off bug. I think it's time to drink some Duncan. It's cold. First time I've tried using this cooler with just an ice pack in it. Probably not enough for this time of year. Let's get the old turd started up here. Grab my bag. And, uh, come here. junk in here. Yeah, there's no breeze or anything right now. I think that had a lot to do with why I couldn't sleep last night. Even with the fans going in there, it just seems so stuffy. It's been kind of humid again. Whatever. I'm ready for some fall weather. I guess the Sam Adams can put you in the fall spirit, but it can't actually bring the weather to you. All right. So, even just like this tree right here, that thing was huge. It's not there anymore. There was quite a few trees taken down inside of there. I mean, you can kind of see there's where the stumps have already been pulled out. Um, same thing with over here. There's quite a few trees down over here. everywhere here and some geese but yeah stump 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 everywhere the stumps all over in there like this is all pretty pretty ruined looking over here 
we got a few more stumps here. And those are all pretty big trees. I guess they weren't quite as healthy as they should have been, but. a lot of good trees out here. Go by this pile. You can, yeah, you can really see like the debris in the grass over here. They've been cleaning it up and I'm sure with this they've probably decided to do a bit of tree trimming, but you can see the amount of work they've had to do. still branches down you can kind of see there in the RV lots that place hasn't been like mowed in a couple of weeks and I mean there's there's a tree stump there I think that one actually fell on a camper here that tree lost quite a bit of it uh, same goes for over here you can see a ton of tree stumps in there and that's all really really fresh you can see all the debris on the ground they've been dragging out this area right here lost a few trees it seems like the best like the least affected area I don't know but there's still quite a few stumps there too go ahead and roll that window up a little ways all right guys I'm gonna hook, go ahead and close this one out uh, I had a good time last night the wieners were really good and uh, the Dr. Pepper baked beans, I don't know about those. They weren't bad, but they weren't great. Uh, no rain last night like they had forecast, and uh, the weather was kind of bogus. It was just kind of muggy. It still kind of is, uh, but fall is on its way. So anyways, I've got a couple cool things planned for this week, uh, and hopefully we get to make it out to those. But anyways, guys, I guess stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.